Hi everybody, today I have the CDW16. This is a multimedia device that does just about everything. The CDW16 has a top-loading CD player, a front-loading cassette player, FM radio, TF card slot, USB memory stick, three and a half millimeter auxiliary input, headphone jack. Oh yeah, and it's a Bluetooth speaker too. In addition to pre-recorded CDs, it will also read CDRs and CDRWs full of MP3 or WMA tracks. The TF card slot and the USB memory stick supports capacities up to 128 gigabytes and will play WMA, MP3, APE, FLAC, and WAV files. They call this a boombox because it has a handle and dual 52 millimeter 5 watt speakers, one on each side. They say you can listen to this device for between five and eight hours on its 5,000 milliamp hour battery. However, I don't see myself carrying this around. To me, this is more of a tabletop device and I probably just would always leave it plugged in. The CDW16 is best enjoyed at moderate to low levels of volume if you intend to use the built-in speakers. They sound fine in the mid-range frequencies, even up to maximum volume, they don't, won't distort. However, the quality of the treble really suffers the higher volume you go, uh, and you just you aren't going to get any bass at all out of these. However, the CDW16 supports Bluetooth transmission, so I was able to pair this to my Bluetooth receiver and use my floor standing speakers, and in that case, the audio sounds really good. I have other devices that send audio to my Bluetooth receiver. CD audio, FM radio, TF card, USB, none of that is new. However, I think this is the first device that I have that sends cassette tapes to a Bluetooth receiver. However, if you are like me, most of your cassette tapes were acquired in the 80s and early 90s, and after 40 years, they don't sound that great. There is a reason why we abandon this format. In FM radio mode, when you hit the scan button, it will go through your radio stations and assign the first 30 two presets. It seems like there should be a way to change these presets. And I almost feel like there is, but it's not documented and I can't figure out how to do it. So does it exist? Maybe. The TF card slot and the USB memory stick do support randomized playback. However, it will only index the first 999 tracks. You cannot access any tracks beyond that. And so the 128 gig capacity is almost irrelevant. This does have an equalizer and you can select between five sound profiles. No adjustment, rock, jazz, classical, and pop. However, the distinction between any of those is very slight and they only work for the built-in speakers. If you use Bluetooth transmission mode, the equalizer does nothing at all. The CDW16 does have a sleep timer where you can select between 10 and 120 minutes automatic shutoff. However, that function is only accessible with the included remote control. Um, I guess that's okay, but it's a little quirky. Another oddity is that I can choose any media source and send it to the transmitter to be consumed by my Bluetooth receiver, except the USB memory stick. As soon as you choose that, it automatically selects the internal speakers and you cannot change it. There is another problem that is not unique to the CDW16, but I thought I would mention it anyway. The charging port must be two amps or less. You cannot use a high-speed charging port on this device. It will not work. Uh, I don't think it damages anything. It just doesn't charge. 
Another problem that is certainly not unique to this device, but it's still annoying and I have to mention it, don't put the headphone jack on the back of this device. Headphone jacks belong on the front, always. No exception, I don't care if this is where all the other ports are, headphone jacks go on the front. I almost neglected to elaborate on the ability to use this as a Bluetooth speaker. Um, boy, if this is your best option for Bluetooth speakers, I think you need an upgrade on your Bluetooth speaker. It can be done, it does work. Um, I, just, I just wouldn't do it. How do I rate the CDW16? Now, keep in mind that what you value might be different than what I value. To me, the biggest feature this supports is the Bluetooth transmitter and the ability to consume cassette tapes and CDs on my modern Bluetooth receiver. As such, I would give this a three out of five stars just because the device has some rough edges and is kind of quirky. If you are planning to use this as a boom box and rely on the internal speakers, I just, I just can't imagine that these would be your best option, but maybe. Um, in any case, for me, this is a three out of five stars. Thanks for stopping by. Thank <music> you.